Holy Lord, I know your wake in the weekly. Holy Lord, I know your Woo! Our show is two years old, but there's no party due to COVID. Meanwhile, our title sponsor is turning 50 this year. That's why the Hoist People Fund gave us these t-shirts and made a series of podcasts about us and the work of their many other grassroots grantees around the Paiaina. Many of those grantees were at the Capitol today, joining over 50 organizations in the growing effort to permanently shut down the Red Hill fuel tanks. Every day the Navy continues to fight to keep fuel in those tanks. They are making a conscious decision to put our lives at risk. The military lies, deflects, and plays games because they don't believe we have the strength to stand up to them. But together we have a stronger voice than any one of us alone. So we need to make all our voices heard because this affects every single one of us. In world news, tensions are rising. Russia is currently positioning weapons and troops near the Ukrainian border. The U.S. and Europe have countered by deploying thousands of troops and weapons to Ukraine. They have also asked their citizens to flee Ukraine now in case of an attack. And this week, Russian leader Vladimir Putin held a rare meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping to formalize an energy deal and other economic agreements. What's the role of Red Hill fuel tanks in global politics? Tune in next next week for Slightly Old News. Thanks for believing in the Hawaiian Kingdom Weekly. These are Kingdom Lives. And the Kingdom Lives. Bye, Kalima. I could think of only one thing. Yeah.